Hello, hello guys. This is again Drago42 on the SciCraft creative server to go with Il Mango. Hey! Hello. Yeah, and today we have some transportation means for 1.9 for you. Mostly some translocators, some fairly simple ones, some slightly more complex ones, and some pretty fancy ones. But we also have some fixes um, for piston bolts in case you still want to use them. And yeah, maybe we start with the piston bolts. Okay, uh, yeah. So, uh, the old piston bolts um, worked with two game ticks delay in between, and uh, also in the tutorial by Ultimate Redstone, there was always a two game tick delay between the, the sides, and it doesn't work anymore. So, let's build it like it was. So, this side is activated two game ticks after the other one. And yeah, if we do that now, we'll get stuck. Yeah, at a somewhat random position. Well, usually it's a few blocks in. Yeah, doesn't so work at all. that doesn't work anymore, but there's a simple fix. Yeah, by uh, simply having one game tick delay in between the sides, it would work again. Yeah, so the piston creates three game ticks, the repeater another two. Here, so that's five on this side, and here two redstone ticks, means four game ticks, so yeah, that works. Then for the diagonal one, it's actually they fairly are simple, pretty right? Pretty much unaffected, both sides have to be powered. Yeah, the because they're, yeah, they are always powered at the same time, anyways, so that one's quite straightforward. But let's get to the real stuff, right? Mm hmm. Now, just uh, some days ago, I came with a fairly simple idea for. A uh, translocator, and that's a 40 meters per second version using a minecart, so it's reliable. Um, and it's fairly simple because here's really just a normal piston. Yep. And yeah, everything else you can pretty much see right away. So there's just a bunch of rails below a dispenser, which brings us a new minecart. And if we hop in here, hey, there we go. Okay, so while we're traveling here, um, maybe we can say a few things about this design, because it does have a problem. It works pretty nicely in this direction, so in the north-south axis it works flawlessly, but as soon as we would go perpendicular to this direction, so in east-western direction, uh, it doesn't work anymore, which is kind of weird, probably has something to do with the update order. Um, Oh, and there's Mango. And I guess we don't need to use the one back. That one's also working, by the way. Yeah, the north-south axis works always. Yeah, so it's independent whether you go to positive or negative, but it depends whether you go on the x on the or on the c axis. So that's a fairly simple one. In case it's you just the simplest uh, way to do a 40 blocks per second translocator. Yeah. Yes. So it's really just one tick repeaters each time. Just here at the beginning, it's two tick repeater and the uh, piston on the other side. Oops. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. So I don't think there's any need for an additional tutorial or anything. Um, well, below here there's just another rail. So if you want to know what resources you will need, you can take a quick look here for one station. So of course you will need two on either end. Um, the redstone torches here are actually just any power source, uh, which is already included up here as a redstone block. I just noticed. Um, yeah, this is more or less what you need and just a bunch of minecarts. Then for the distance to travel, uh, this is on the left hand side what you need for each two blocks of distance, also per direction. And for 100 blocks in one direction, uh, yeah, the right hand side is what you need. And of course a few building blocks, because you probably need to shape out the path a bit. Now, as we said, this one doesn't work in all directions, so we came up with one that also works. Uh, we can show it, the it doesn't work. Was this? Oh yeah, right. Direction. So here that's the same setup as we had before. Okay, here it's two repeaters instead of one, but that doesn't really change anything. So, and gets in gets stuck, because the second yeah. piston already doesn't update. Yeah. 
or it doesn't update in time because the mm. piston below here gets updated first, then the sand gets already pushed up and the power source is therefore removed and this piston doesn't react anymore. Which is kind of unfortunate, but yeah, we have a solution which is not much more expensive, a little more complex, but it's really just a small change. Yeah, it and uses the same amount that's of over pistons. Here. So, um, oh, yeah. a few months ago we showed another version where we always had, uh, we had to use a, uh, one additional uh, piston per two blocks and this is the way how to yeah, use as few pistons as possible. Yeah. So essentially the update piston for this uh, sand zero tick generator here is also the piston which actually transports you along. And yeah, we can show it in a second, but let me just give you an aerial view of what this looks like. Uh, we just need the buttons here to redirect the redstone dust. Um, it, it's a bit weird, it just uh, simply doesn't work otherwise. Um, how does you get some cross connections between the two sides and yeah, it doesn't depower quick enough. So, yeah, maybe we'll just take a ride or Mango just shows that it's working and there he goes. Of course, station has pretty much the same design, so all the rails down here. And yeah, if I hop it in. works uh, only for minecarts, so we couldn't use a transport a, a village or something like that because it would collide with the slabs. Yeah, so the important thing is that the entity that is actually being transported is the minecart. That one's only one block high, and therefore these slabs here don't obstruct anything. And of course, since it slabs, we don't get any suffocation damage or something like that. And yeah, here we just pop out. So, let's get back. Shouldn't really take too long. And where's the station? Here we go. Okay, so the station also needs a little more resources, but yeah, it's it's not much. Um, again, add some building blocks, and for the distance, this is what you'll need. So again, for two blocks of traveling, it's on the left hand side, and on the right hand side. Uh, what you need for 100 blocks and of course add building blocks as you need. Uh, one thing you might want to watch out for is that especially this half slab here actually needs to be a half slab otherwise this piston might bug out and not depower correctly. So again I don't think there's any tutorial necessary because it's really quite straightforward. Um, yeah or m maybe we can quickly build a segment. So, need a bunch of things here. What I do is you take a piston, two pieces of sand on top, Mango already builds the next parts, and up. Oh, which way are we going? This way. So, you power the sand, oh, give me a button. Then in the middle you just put a button, redstone dust, button, redstone dust, and so on. Always in alternating fashion. Then put some blocks. Always, when there's sand on one side, normal blocks on the other side and in the middle. And that's pretty much everything you need. Yeah, so that one's just to cut the wire. And that's it. Again, for the startup, you have to make sure that the one piston that triggers first, so this one here, oops, um, that one receives uh, its pulse after six redstone, uh, sorry, six game ticks or three redstone ticks. And here we have three game ticks from the piston and four game ticks from these two repeaters. Okay, so these are the simple and fairly resource efficient ones. But then we also have a fancy one which is maybe a bit nicer to look at. Yeah, it's seamless. Uh, yeah, don't any, you don't see any redstone. Yeah, so we won't go in details how this one's working, but it's it's pretty much the same actually. Also create zero ticks, of course, and yeah, the wiring is a bit more of a mess, but it works. And I, th oops, wrong button. And I think it doesn't have any directionality either. No, that would always work because uh, we take care of the update order of the comparators. 
So here we go. And let's quickly get back. So yeah, these are three kinds of translocators, all 40 meters per second. One expensive one that is pretty slick, I would say. One very simple one that only works along the z-axis. And one that's also fairly simple, works in any direction. And I think it gives a nice impression of some sort of tunnel that you're going through. So if we quickly get another minecart. We can take another ride, look out here to the side. And yeah, I think that's it for today. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.